All right, everybody, welcome to my super awesome YouTube marketing guide. So let's get into it. All right, so what this is, uh, it's going to be a series of videos, uh, around eight to 10 so far, um, about how I do uh, my YouTube marketing. So through all my affiliate efforts, uh, YouTube has been the most uh, successful for me. Uh, it's where the majority of my traffic and sales come from. So I have three offers going right now. You've seen the mate endurance, you've seen the CBD. I have another one that I'm doing a whole case study on, so that's a little bit different, but those are the three things uh, that I'm doing right now. And the majority of the uh, marketing, the content is through uh, YouTube. So I thought I'd put together um, some videos to kind of show you how I do it and some of the philosophy uh, behind it. So that's what this whole series is going to be. It's going to be a whole playlist and uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. This is just the uh, the introductory video for the whole for the whole playlist, but I am going to give you three actionable uh, steps you can take right now. So each video is going to have like a philosophy part or the theory and all that. And then it's going to have a, um, a few actionable, uh, things you can do activities or whatever you want to call it. So today, uh, I wanted to talk about really, very quickly optimizing, uh, your videos. Uh, first thing is your video title. Now I'm assuming you already know how to do keyword research. If not, I'll get into that uh, some other time, but so I'm going to assume you already have your, your main keyword that you want to, uh, um, you want to rank for, right? You want people to find you when they search for this term or this, you know, the keywords. Uh, so as an example, this video would be YouTube marketing guide. That'd be my main, my main keyword, right? And I'd have a couple of, of, uh, related keywords, right? Anyway, you want to get um, your keyword in the title of your video within the first 60 characters, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be the first words. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it, but sometimes you got to put a couple words in before it to make the, the keyword sound natural. Like for me, for this video, it would be, you know, introducing my super awesome YouTube video guide or something like that, right? But you want to get it within the first for 60 characters of, uh, of your title. Then as far as your keywords in your description, you want to make your keyword with, put your keyword within the first 200 characters, uh, of your description. Okay. So first 60 characters of the title and first, uh, 200 characters of your description. So, you don't have to lead with, you know, my, my description wouldn't be starting out YouTube marketing guide. Marketing guides are great or something like that, right? I can put a, a sentence or, or a couple of words in before, or even a couple of sentences in before I actually put the, uh, uh, the keyword in the description. And then you also, in the description, you want to put your partial match, uh, keyword. So, this would be like YouTube marketing guy would be my main keyword. I might use YouTube marketing tips uh, as a, a secondary keyword or um, tips for YouTube marketing, something like that. But just something that's related to it, but not exactly, um, you know, YouTube marketing guy. So that's number one. Keyword in the title, keyword and related keywords in the description. All right. Number two. Uh, tags. Now I know a lot of people say, you know, tags don't matter anymore. Um, I strongly disagree. I think they are important. Um, in fact, a while back, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, um, just as an experiment, I, um, tried to rank a video just using tags. No, um, I didn't share it on social media. I didn't build any backlinks to it. And by the way, the people who say 
uh, tags don't work anymore are the same people who say backlinks don't work anymore in SEO. Completely false. Tags work. Backlinks work. But anyway, uh, so your, your tags, you want your, your main keyword to be your first tag. So again, with, our, with this, with this example, um, my first tag would be YouTube marketing guide. And then I would put, you know, my, my, uh, related keywords as tags. And then I have this, um, uh, the software called tube buddy. You probably, maybe you've seen it. I don't know. But, uh, one of the things it does is it will recommend a whole list of related tags to your main keyword. So that's where I get the majority, uh, the majority of my tags from is through, is through TubeBuddy. And I'll put a link in the description, uh, if you want to get, I think it's, if your channel is over a thousand subscribers, it's $9 a month. And if it's under a thousand, it's, I think five bucks or four fifty or something like that. So I pay nine dollars a month, which believe me is uh one hundred percent worth it. But uh yeah, anyway, so you want to put about I would say at least um at least ten tags uh in your uh, in your tag uh profile. Um that seems to be a good number. Some of the more um competitive keywords. You might want to put more. I know people put like 30, 40 tags in their, in their videos. I think that's overkill. So I would say anywhere between like 10 and 20, uh, would probably be fine with, um, I'd probably, I'd probably cap out at like 15. That, that seems like the, a good number to me. But again, main keyword is your first tag, related keywords as your next tags, and then use a, a software tool like TubeBuddy to uh to populate the rest of the tags and and this is one of those cases where more isn't necessarily better but i think like between 10 and, and i say 10 and 15 tags are fine so tags are important okay and number three is your thumbnail this i think is one of the most important things uh for your youtube video you got to create your own thumbnails don't let google choose an image from your from your your video, don't do that. I use Canva; it's free uh, to make all my to make all my um, uh, thumbnails. And one of the things you want to do is make sure you use really high contrast images, really bright colors. Now I know some people get like really crazy with uh, all kinds of different colors on there and text and everything. I usually I'm a very minimalist person just by by nature. So my designs are really, really minimalist anyway. Um, I like using bright colors. I get a lot of video, a lot of videos, a lot of uh, photos from a site called Unsplash. And I'll put a link in the description for Canva and for Unsplash as well. And for TubeBuddy. But uh, I get a lot of uh, photos from there if I'm not using a photo of myself. Um, and I always choose images that are not really busy because so I'm going to put text on there too and have like a, a very colorful uh, background. So, uh, and then I do it all. I design it all in, in Canva. Canva has some very good uh, uh, tools to make YouTube thumbnails, to make Instagram posts, to make uh, what do you, what, pretty much anything for social media, right? That, that uses images. So yeah, colorful, high contrast images. And as far as text goes, make sure your text is big enough to be read on somebody's phone. Uh, a lot of times people put like really small text uh, in their in their thumbnails. And I'm, I'm sure when they when they made it, you know, on the computer screen, it looked good. But when you look at it on your phone, you can barely read uh, what's what's going on and use text color that will contrast with whatever background you have. So if you have like a blue background, maybe a red text or something like that, right? It's contrasting colors. And here's where things get a little, a little dicey. Some people say definitely put, you know, a, your face or a human face in the, uh, in the, in the thumbnail. Yeah. Um, 
it doesn't necessarily have to be your face. I always say just put like an object, whether it be human or not, uh, that will draw attention to, to, to that object, right? So if you think about how you read a book, you go left to right. So I would put whatever object you want, whether it's your face or a product or whatever, usually on the right side, maybe a little down. Okay, because you're going to read, I would put the text over here on the left side and then the image on the right side, maybe a little lower, right? That's my opinion. Um, I'm sure there are thousands of people out there who have thousands of different opinions on, on what to put uh, on your on your thumbnail, how, to, how, to, how to, to design it. But that's what I do, and it seems to work fairly well. But again, you got to get your... Uh, you gotta get somebody to stop scrolling, basically, right? So using an image, text, and color that's gonna make them make them stop scrolling. So, and that's uh, that's pretty much it as far as uh, as far as thumbnails go. Um, there are tons of tutorials and videos and theories and science and all that that will tell you to put it this way and do it this way and put it over here. Text on the left. Image on the right seems to do well for me. I make sure your text is big enough to to read on a on a on a, uh, on a smartphone. It's been a long day, so yeah. So that's it for. All right, that's it. That's the end of the first video in this YouTube marketing guide series. So hopefully you got some good uh, information out of it. I will definitely put a link to TubeBuddy, to Canva, and to Unsplash. Uh, in the description below so you can use those tools to help uh, create some some really awesome videos um, that's it stick around like I said I have about uh, I think I want to say 10 but I think maybe it's eight eight to ten videos uh, in this series if you have any questions or any anything uh, you're concerned about or you want to learn put your questions uh, in the comments I will answer them uh, I might even make a whole video on just answering your questions um you know near the end of this uh of this whole of this whole series so that's all i got like and share the video subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be some awesome awesome content coming so see you soon